So yan, oh, welcome to another video, to another episode sa ating research series. And, and by this time, I will discuss yung tinatawag nating average weighted mean. How to perform the average weighted mean for qualitative research. I noticed that a lot of you guys are uh, asking questions about this, lalo na sa TikTok. Ang daming nagtatanong about kung paano i-evaluate yung mga results from the questionnaires, from the survey. Yung mga yan. That's why... This video is for you. If you are new here, I would like to just thank you for being here and hit that subscribe button. Tapos, uh, pwede mo i-click yung notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I will be posting videos about research, science, agriculture, academic tips, and even in life. So, let's start. So, sabi ko nga, statistics play a huge role not only dun sa ating data analysis na, but even from the start. Whenever you are designing your experiment, when, whenever you are uh, choosing and formulating your questionnaires, yan, statistics uh, must be applied na. So, one of the most common things, uh, one of the most common formats that researchers use in evaluating yung mga uh, respondents natin is yung tinatawag nating Likert scale. So, what is a Likert scale? So, Likert scale is a psychometric scale commonly involved in research that employs questionnaires. So, so dito na papasok yung mga studies nyo na nagtatanong ng factors affecting yung ano ng students, yung welfare ng students, yung mga ganyan na mga researches, dito na papasok yan. So, it is most widely used approach to scaling responses in survey research. So, whenever that you are conducting a survey, itong Likert scale is the perhaps one of the best methods or forms na pwede nyo gamitin in your questionnaire. So, ang Likert scale, meron niyang 4, 4 Likert scale, 5 Likert scale. And what I will discuss in this video is what I use in my study, which is the 5-point Likert scale. So, yung 5-point Likert scale, it is a type of psychometric response scale in which responders specify their level of agreement to a statement. Yan. So, for example, tinanong mo, are you knowledgeable in this stuff? Parang ganun. Are you knowledgeable in waste management, segregation? Yung mga ganun na stuff. So, they will rate themselves by ito. First, strongly disagree, disagree, neither agree nor disagree, agree or strongly agree. So, dito sa 5 na to, it can be manipulated to the context of your question. So, later, I will have an example regarding that. Now, we will talk about the average weighted mean. Paano ba natin kukunin yung resulta doon sa mga uh, doon sa mga sinurvey natin? Kasi di ba meron yung number of respondents na, na nagsabing strongly agree sila or merong number of respondents na nagsabi na uh, strongly disagree sila doon sa statement na yun. So, how will you evaluate that and how will you put it in your discussion? So, ayun yung magiging focus ng ating video for today. So, yeah. Average weighted mean is the average of a set of numbers, each with different associated weights or means. So, from the word itself, kaya tinawag na weighted mean kasi meron kang ilalagay doon na weight sa numbers na yun. So, later, we will discuss more of that and how you will apply it. It was computed by multiplying the number of respondents who answered to that corresponding weight. For example, sa strongly agree, uh, you will designate a weight na 5 doon since ayun yung pinaka uh, highest. So, 5, yung ilalagay mo doon weight. So, kung ilan yung nag-answer doon, i-multiply mo siya sa 5. Yan. Then, the factors were summed up and divided by the total number of respondents. I think this will be clearer later when we will have our example for this method. So, yeah, here is an example. So, this is my output in Practical Research 1 when I was in senior high school. And I am... I was. <laughs> I was a STEM student. So, this is my study. Assessment of the Ecological Awareness and Application of Barangays in Tayug. So, Tayug is where I live. On Waste Management Segregation. So, measuring degrees of efforts, problems, and solutions. So, here I... Uh, assess kung, uh, kung alam ba 
nung mga citizens namin sa aming municipality yung mga things that are related to waste management and segregation. Kung alam ba nila, sabi ko dyan, ecological awareness. Second is kung ina-apply ba nila yon. Next is measuring degrees of efforts. Ano yung efforts na ina-exert ng ating uh, municipality, ng ating mga barangay captains, yung mga yan, problems and solution. So, those are my factors. So, just to give you a brief overview of my study, here is my conceptual framework. So, ito yung mga independent variables ko, yung objectives, yung importance, efforts exerted, problems encountered, and yung need to increase efforts. So, these are the things that I included in my questionnaires. Inilagay ko doon kung ano yung mga objectives at kung ina-attain ba nila yon. Look at my dependent variable. So, yung objectives, kung ina-attain ba nila yon. Then, yung importance, kung aware ba sila doon sa importance ng uh, waste management segregation. Next is yung effort exerted, kung ano yung degree ng effort. Kung gaano nag effort ang kanilang barangay or ang, or, or ang aming municipality when it comes to the waste management seg- and segregation. Then, next is yung problems encountered. Gaano kaseryoso yung mga problema na sinabi ko doon sa questionnaire. For example, uh, nagkalat ba yung basura doon sa harapan ng bahay nyo? Example lang to, pero hindi ito yung actual na nasa questionnaire ko. So, seryoso ba yun para sa kanila? So, sa letter E, dependent variables, degree of need, and uh, sa independent variable naman is yung need to increase effort. So, I suggested some of uh, possible solutions tas titignan nila they will rate kung kailangan ba talaga yon or hindi masyado. Ayan. So, this is the conceptual framework of my study. And I hope that I gave you somehow an overview of what I did in my study. So, you can also use this as a pattern of your study. Next. So, ito na yung uh, process in computing the average weighted mean. Okay. So, ang sabi natin kanina, in average weighted mean, you will... Uh, assign a weight. Look at my table. So, dito, may VA, A, S, A, R, A, and N, A. So, yung mga yun, I place a legend na nasa baba. VA is very aware, which means very aware sila dito sa mga nandito. Aware. Yan, slightly aware, rarely aware, and not aware. So, if you will notice, dun sa VA, nilagyan ko siya ng uh, weighted mean na 5. Tapos ang A is 4, ang SA ay 3, ang RA ay 2, at, at ang NA ay 1. So, ayun yung inilagay kong weights nila. ba? So, andito na. So, here are the results. I tabulated kung ilan yung mga respondents na nag-answer ng very aware sila sa statement number 1. So, ang statement number 1 ko, this is what I placed in the questionnaire. It aims to measure protection of the environment. So, ang waste management segregation daw, it aims to measure protection of, of the environment. So, these objectives, hindi ko lang to ginawa na ano lang, I based it somehow on objectives of waste management segregation based on some literature. So, even in your questionnaires, you must apply or you must also consult uh, information from a specific study or a, or a specific literature. So, yeah. Then, next, uh, it can lessen pollution in land and water. So, ayan yung mga nag-answer. Merong 86 na nag-answer na uh, very aware daw sila doon. Uh, may 16 na nag-answer na uh, tawag dito. Aware sila. Tapos, slightly aware isa. Then, rarely aware yung sa isa. Parang ganun. So, ayan. So, on and so forth. So, in that specific um, box. If you will see, let's focus dito sa, sa 78. So, dun sa 78, meron 78 na nag-answer na very aware sila sa, sa objective number 1. Yang number 1 dyan. Yan, na it aims to measure protection of, of the environment. So, what I did is I multiplied 78 by 5. So let's check if, if tama yan. So, 78 times 5. I have my calculator here. Ayan. So, 390. So, as I go through pala, you can have your calculator beside you para pwede mong sabayan. Kasi mamaya magkakaroon tayo ng parang practice 
na na problem. Yan. So, 390. Ayan. So, gagawin mo yan sa bawat table. So, it means yung 27 na nag-answer ng aware for statement number 1. Ayan. So, 27 times 4. Ayan. 108. And so on and so forth. So, pagkatapos mong gawin yan, ang gagawin mo naman is you will uh, i-add mo yung weight na yun. For example, sa row number 1, yung it aims to measure the protection of the environment, 390 plus 108. Ang kakalabasan niyan is 498, which is ayun yung nasa weighted mean natin. So, yung 498 na yun, what we will do is we will divide it. So, 498, i-divide mo sila sa number of respondents. Sa number of respondents mo. And in my case, it is 105. I have 105 respondents because I have, I conducted a cluster sampling wherein meron akong 5 na respondents for 21 of our barangays in our municipality. So, I have 105 respondents. That's why 498, i-divide natin yan sa 105. Doon lalabas yung 4.74 na nasa baba ng weighted mean na yan. Yung 4.74 na yan, that's it. So, ngayon, ilalagay mo yung descriptive, eh, descriptive equivalent nila. In one of my lives sa TikTok, someone asked me na hindi po ba magiging uh, quantitative yan because you are computing and you are, uh, tawag dito, and you are having numbers dyan sa study na yan. What we are interested here is yung descriptive equivalent, which means kung aware ba sila or not. So, ayan yun, yung kung sila ba ay very aware, aware ba sila, slightly aware, rarely aware, or not aware sila dun sa questionnaire mo. Parang ganon. So, still it is qualitative since we are, uh, tawag dito, we are evaluating the quality of their awareness and their knowledge dun sa specific objectives that you are uh, stating or that you are evaluating sa study mo. Ayan. So, dito, since 4.74, nilagyan natin sila ng descriptive equivalent dyan sa baba, you, you will see na kapag ang range ay 4 to 4.99, sila ay aware. Kapag 5, very aware. Kapag 3 to 3.99, sila ay slightly aware. 2, 2 to 2.99, rarely aware. And 1 to 1.99, 9 is not aware. So, doon pa lang, you can see na, na yung 4.74, it falls sa aware. So, ayun yung magiging descriptive, descriptive equivalent sa study na to. So, what you will do pala dyan, di ba meron tayong 5 na ano? Meron tayong 5 na questions. So, sa 5 na questions na yun, what you will do is you will just average it to have the total na average weighted mean. So, 4.74 plus 4.75 plus 4.34 plus 4.42 plus 4.58 you have 22.83. Ayun ba yung nakuha nyo? Then, i-divide natin yan sa 5 since you have 5 questions. That's why dun lalabas yung 4.56. So, using that, 4.56 also falls within 4 to 4.99. Which means, ang descriptive equivalent niya, ayun yung meaning pala ng DE dito sa taas. In the last column dito sa right, the part. So, yung DE dyan, it stands for Descriptive Equivalent. So, ang Descriptive Equivalent ng 4.56 ay uh, aware. So, ayun yung ating result na ang mga uh, citizens sa aming municipality ay aware naman sa objectives ng proper waste management and, and segregation. So, things are interesting dun sa, sa nangyari sa study ko kasi aware sila pero dun sa next na part which is yung level of attainment, kung bang ina-apply nila yung mga bagay na ito, is hindi na yata sila ganun ka-aware. Nasa slightly aware na lang yata sila or slightly attained na lang yata yung mga uh, bagay na ito. So that's something that is interesting that I found out in this research. Yan ngayon, how to discuss. How to discuss yung table na yon. So here's my discussion sa aking study. Table 2 shows that the average weighted mean for the level of awareness on the importance of proper, proper waste management is 4.56, 4.56, which has the descriptive equivalent of 
aware. This indicates that the citizens in Tayug were aware of the importance of waste management and segregation. Then, after this, you can also use some cross-references wherein you can uh, search for a study na parang ganito rin yung ginawa tapos i-parallelize siya sila dun sa result ng study nila, parang ganun. Or any report from your municipality or worry about bullying yung study nyo. Any statistics about that, you can cross-reference to strengthen your result. Ayan. So here, let's practice this. You can pause this video, then you can compute for the missing uh, items here. Then mamaya, I will just reveal kung ano yung mga sagot dyan and if you answered it right. So first column, yung 30 dyan. Ayan, i-compute yung lahat ng boxes. Then you will also be the one who's gonna uh, place the average weighted mean. Dyan, so ano yung average weighted mean sa may baba? Ano yung descriptive equivalent niya? So pause this video. Yeah, so I hope you have answered it correctly. So here is the answer. Ayan, so ito yung efforts exerted by the barangay government. Ayan, so ito yung result ng aking study. Okay, ayan. So ang descriptive equivalent is R, which is rarely. So I hope that helped you in how to compute the average weighted mean in your qualitative research when you are using questionnaires. So yeah, thank you very much. So I hope that you learned something today and like and subscribe.